The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth the beseech, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son, who was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mass in time of pandemic is offered for the blessings for Sarah Rodriguez and the repose of the soul of Father Larry Klein. Truly the Lord has borne our infirmities and he has carried our sorrows. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our every refuge, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to health care workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped and then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me, like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, but they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. 
O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me, the destroying floods overwhelmed me, the cords of the nether world enmeshed me, the snares of death overtook me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and cried out to my God. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. <clears throat> the Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, You are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to a place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we lead up into Holy Week, beginning with Palm Sunday, we have gone through this journey of preparation for what Christ undergoes during his Passion, the condemnation of the innocent, that he will be crucified and look like a sinner, that uh, he will be trapped, in a sense, in the tomb until God releases him. And then yesterday we read about um, the covenant that God makes with man and how in that silence of the tomb, God remembers the covenant. And now today we witness the judgment that Christ has upon those who sought to uh, confound him, to destroy him, those who sought to take his life. Indeed, they thought that they had succeeded, but after three days, Christ rises from the dead. There's many times in our lives when we, we skip over many things. We, we, we want to reach the end. I know uh, people who love to have movies spoiled for them, or that they want to know the end of the book before they start the beginning. They read online how this ends, or they read online who the killer was, or, or does the person make it alive, does the person defeat the bad guys, all these other things. that They want to know the ending before they kind of read the rest of the story or watch the rest of the movie. This Holy Week, as we begin it, uh, let's not do that. Yes, our Lord is raised from the dead. Yes, our Lord triumphs over all things. That gives us tremendous hope, and it gives us a sense that all these things that pass um, to us, all these things that we undergo, right, are not the worst. They are not the worst. And the Lord rises over those things. Uh, just today, um, 
we have to see and trust with the Lord that He is working some good in these moments and that our eyes will be open to see it. So this Holy Week, ask yourself, is my own plan interfering with God's plan in any way for me? And I ask the Lord then to open my eyes to see his plan in my life and the good he is bringing out of this trial. As the solemnity of Easter approaches, let us direct our prayers more intensely to God, that he who raised Christ from the dead may also listen to our prayers. For our Holy Father Francis, our Bishop Daniel, our Auxiliary Bishop Mario, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our President, for all those in roles of public leadership, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and those dedicated to the care of the sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and for all who mourn them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you know our needs. Grant this is a petition for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed God forever. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, lift them up to the Lord, and let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall that they may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and you willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you 
and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and Mother, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and in which does he grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Come to me, all you who are labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. Spiritual Communion At thy feet, O my Jesus, I prostrate myself, and I offer thee the repentance of my contrite heart, which is humbled in its nothingness and in thy love, the ineffable Eucharist. I desire to receive thee into the poor dwelling that my heart offers thee. While waiting for the happiness of sacramental communion, I wish to possess thee in spirit. Come to me, O my Jesus, since I, for my part, am coming to thee. May thy love embrace my whole being in life and in death. I believe in thee, I hope in thee, I love thee.
Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We're reminded that today, Friday, Stations of the Cross at 3 p.m. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Bow down to the blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May mighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. See, my God, the archangel, defend us in battle, and be our protection against wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke when we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, and the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Anthony, pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Then, Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us.